welcome to another episode of What Are You Reading? What Are You Writing? Although lately I've been doing What Are You Writing? What Are You Reading? But it doesn't matter. I'm just so glad to be here. You're going to have so much fun because I have two amazing, just exuberant, talented, wonderful guests today. In case you don't know me, I'm Karen E. Osborne. There's another Karen Osborne out there writing, so you got to remember my E. Karen E. Osborne, I'm author of Tangled Lies, which just came out in July, Getting It Right, which came out uh, in 2017, and the upcoming Reckonings, which is coming out next June. And today's guests today are Wilnona Marie and Jade. And these ladies are known, I'm just gonna look at this for a second, because I wanna get it right, and I thought, and they're gonna tell you what that means and how they got this name and how they found each other. But this is, are you sisters? No. no. Oh, okay. Best friends. Okay, just best, best, not just, best, friend, sister friends. Sister yes. Friends. We're gonna go with yes. sister friends, I like it. They are authors, podcasters, creators, women with a message. And I think you're just going to love them. Welcome, 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 Wilnona Marie and Jade. Hi, how are you today? It's a pleasure to and be here. thank you for having us on, like seriously. And all that stuff, I think we need to lower expectations now. right? Because she was all like, oh, they're fantastic, right? We want pop poetry. I was like, oh, maybe she, mm -hmm. may, may, maybe she was listening to the audio book because Joe did such a good job that, that, is that so she true. thought like maybe it was us being fabulous, but it wasn't. <laughs> it's Joe's voice. Oh my goodness. I See, love you, by the way. And I'm Jade. Told you they were going to be fun. Didn't I tell you? <laughs> All right. So tell us a little bit about what, and I thought, how did that come? What is it? And how did it come about? And how did you guys become partners? Just give me a little of the origin well, story. So I have we start the story. Why? Why? Why are you stopping my story? Like, this is the best story. Like, I was preface, right, y'all. Preface, spoiler alert. Yeah. Don't do something with your best friend and then she ends up being yes. right. right. Because you got to hear about it. So and we've been interviewed like over right. 800 times. So And I get Jade, to tell this story again. Go ahead and, and tell about again. how you were right. Oh, it just makes you feel so good. You're sitting in your chair. You just have a little trailer like, I was right. Okay. So I told her, well, no, she, she is a wonderful writer. And, and she was writing genre at the time. I said, oh, a ton of poetry. And she was like, oh, you want me to be broke? Okay, <laughs> thanks for that. Like, you want me to be broke? And we all was like, no, I, your poetry is so beautiful. She was like, oh, that was only money, go. Are you going to be fine? Fine, I'll do it. I'll do it. And I was like, yes, yes, I won. And she was like, so what would I even call the book? And I was like, and I thought the voice was bad. Bam. Yeah. All of this happens on a trip. We were a road, road, road trip. trip, like a day trip. We were just going to Ocean City. We were just going to the beach. And, and we yeah. were driving the highway. And I was like, and we're going to call it And I Thought the Voice Was Bad. Oh. So about three months later, a book is born called And I Thought Divorce Was Bad. Yeah, with other life lessons. With other, yes. But it was very interesting because what happened was, I'm the boring person on this one, okay, y'all? Because I'm a writer, so I'm boring on this one. Mm, you're boring. So what happened, you're boring. So what ha happened was, wow, <laughs> wow, wow. What, what the end I thought, ladies? That's true. I'm sorry. I, I apologize for that. I'm going back. Mm -hmm. The events that occurred. The were, events that occurred. That sounds better. That sounds yes. better. The events that have occurred <laughs> were, <laughs> I started writing and then we ran into a friend of ours who had started writing for the first time ever and her poetry was phenomenal. And she was going through a rough patch in her life. So I said, why don't we write together and we'll publish this book? And then we went to another lady and another lady and they, there you go. The And I so, Thought Ladies. Seven days later, we had the And I Thought Ladies and five ladies were writing a book together from the ages of 20 <clears throat> to <laughs> over 55. Yes. That is There's the boring answer, y'all. No, that was a great answer. And you guys are childhood friends, or you became friends? Yes, we're childhood friends. I have known her so long. I've known her since she I, was I've young. known her so long. Just, just so long. Not that long, y'all. You know, I'm only 21. But you know, <laughs> so long. 
<laughs> no, those Pretty are much. those are wonderful friends, and you know, I have childhood friends that I'm still very, very close to, and that's just special, right? That is like one of the most special things that somebody that knows you, your ins and outs, can finish your sentences, which you guys do a lot. <laughs> All right, so tell me a little bit about when you were kids. What kind of readers were you? Were you readers as kids? Did you, were you, or that just came later in life? Tell me a little bit about that. I'm gonna go with the, once again, the <clears throat> of stuffy cow, the stuffy kind of collar answer. Uh, yes, I, was, the, I didn't you really- You your lapels. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There you yeah. go. There we go. So uh, I, was, I was a reader of sort that didn't want, I didn't really like reading, but when I was five, we had indoor resource success a lot and I ended up being stuck reading books because that's all that was left because all the games were gone and I took forever to eat so here I am reading a book and not just any book I was reading a book on anatomy so mm -hmm. at five years old I decided I wanted to be a neurosurgeon so <laughs> that was my reading and then at seven I wrote a we did a free write and then I found out that I wanted to be a writer so I felt bad for my parents because my mom eventually told me that um by the way she's passed away but she, when she was alive she told me that uh she was planning her retirement home in Florida when I came home and said, mom, I'm going to be a neurosurgeon. And you were like, she was like, what's a neurosurgeon? And I explained it to her. She was like, that's it. I'm, you know, get the retirement homes in Florida. And then I came home two years later and I said, mom, I'm going to be a writer. And she was just like, there goes the retirement home, but good. I support you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and, and as for me, I was not a, a reader. I really truly was not a reader i have dyslexia it's shade and i have dyslexia so mm -hmm. it i was not a reader but then just in case to all you parents out here here's a here's a lesson for you don't think your children are not reading what's on your bookshelf because i started reading black alley by mickey's brain one summer <laughs> and i fell in love with reading like it took me forever to read this book because you know what? like i had to learn all my coping things but i did it and I loved Black Alley and never put down books since. So y'all, and my dad was like, maybe that wasn't age appropriate. She actually <laughs> reads on a regular basis about three to five books a week. Three to seven, maybe 10 sometimes. It depends on what kind of time I have. Exactly. That's awesome. That is awesome. I, I can't, I am a reader since childhood, but I can't say that I still read five to seven books a week as I used to when I was little. And as my grandsons do today they both are the two olders are both like seven books a week <laughs> well technically sometimes i'm listening to audiobooks <laughs> let's still like reading them but you're not like actually reading them yeah but that counts <laughs> that does count absolutely I'm I'm, I'm I'm just saying that totally <laughs> yeah, okay, though. So you guys are um, creative in, in different ways, you know, because of your podcasting and um, in your writing and, you know, are, what are you working on now? You're, you're so multitasking. May so I tell them what we're working on right now or no? Wait, oh, I was going to say since this is October, yeah. our magazine, our literary magazine That's is coming true. out and we're beginning the, well, let's see. Yeah, the last calls for people to nominate people for the 25 hottest have. We're finalizing the list for uh, 25. Yeah, they have just last in September. So now we're finalizing the list for the 25 hottest in the Office Artist Advocate magazine, which will be out in March. Okay. Now, October magazine will be out in 11 days. Or not really. It will. Or the end of October. It'll be there, y'all. It'll, It'll be there, be there in the month of October. October. <laughs> Watch our website. We'll tell you when. <laughs> Watch our Facebook page. We'll tell you when. That's when. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, I don't know, it's kind of like a secret, but we, um, somebody came up with an idea for a TV show for us. And so we actually shot that. Today. We're going to, we're we working started. on the preliminaries of shooting it. So we'll see, y'all. We'll see. Keep the post. We have like the rough shots in for the day. Yes. Yeah, so we'll wow. see. Wow. A TV show. That is awesome. Like a talk show? No, mm -hmm. like, like another kind of show that we're not going to discuss because, you know. All right. Okay. Not we yet. <laughs> We have to just come back to your website and look for more news as, yeah, things, yeah, as things unfold. Absolutely. That sounds really, really good to me. And um, so one of the things we like to do is recommend books yes. to our audience. So could each of you give us a recommendation? Just one? I okay. We're both gonna say Mickey Spillane. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. No, we're not. We're probably both going to say Camilla Monk. 
Okay. okay, so you have Camilla Monk and oh my goodness, I had just thought about what I was going to say when I got on here. I think I'm reading like Gemma Holiday's Hollywood, Hollywood Deception right now. It's something light and fluffy and cute and lovely. Because, you know, we're working on a lot of projects. So. But Camilla yes. Monk, she's oh. hilarious and I and I enjoy her books so very much. And no, she's a fun person. Yeah, she really are. Oh can yeah, I, can, can I add one more thing about what we're working on? I yeah. Okay, so no, okay. that thing that we were working on, we've been doing a lot of um, webinars and doing a lot of conferences, especially oh, over yeah. Zoom. And because we have a podcast, we meet all these wonderful people. We were like, why should we be the only people that talk, right? We know all these wonderful people, all these experts in these situations that should be talked. So we we have um, like a slideshow, but it's not. There. But what we have are the little snippets of the people giving their, their speeches the little speeches, little snippets, and you can go to our website and see that and learn all the good things, like from a USA Today bestseller. How about, to do it when you have an indie, but when you have your own book, when you self-publish, how to become a USA Today bestseller, like the actual numbers. And like what's going on with the um, trends today, that would be Jennifer Graybill and then the um, USA Today bestseller was... DC Gomez. DC Gomez. And there's so many of There's them. so many, and Joe Sands is on there talking about how to get your book into an audio, but I mean, there's so many. You just it's go like, to the website and literally like right there in the middle and you just click and you'll take you on over to the YouTube channel. You can see all these professionals, like as we put them in our slideshow, we put them in our presentation to explain to people what we were talking about. Last oh, week we were working on a photo shoot cool. and a new line of clothes. Yeah. Oh, that's and then cool. oh, and then a new line of clothes. Last, last. Last. Off of our book. So off of our book. So last, last. You guys are amazing. Absolutely amazing. So how can, so where is this wonderful website? How can our audience find you? You can find out everything your ladies are doing on www.andourthoughtladies.com. Somehow I feel like I should be ending our show right now and after that. <laughs> That's the minimum, y'all. Like, don't you feel like you should be? <laughs> Andourthoughtladies.com. Yeah, so yeah. please, I hope you will go. I hope you will go and listen to their podcast, watch this great new slideshow, um, read their books, just uh, follow their podcast. I think you will learn a lot. You'll enjoy it. And, and I highly recommend it. We thank you so much for watching today. See you next time. What are you reading? What are you writing?